Hello everyone and today I'm diving into the intriguing possibilities of the Angara making a return in the next instalment of the Mass Effect series from Bioware. As we know, the Andromeda Galaxy introduced to us this unique species where we were tasked with making first contact and there's untapped potential for their story to be unfolded further in the next Mass Effect game. So for those who don't know, the Angara are a race we meet and are native to the Helios cluster of the Andromeda Galaxy. And by the time we meet them in game, the Angara have been raging a war against the Ket and they've made a decade long resistance to basically battling the Ket in game. And also we get to know the Angara more personally in Mass Effect Andromeda, with Jarl being a playable squad mate in game. And yes, for those who are wondering have never played Andromeda, yes he's romanceable. So I'm going to go into this video, so let's explore the reasons why the Angara could play a significant role in the next Mass Effect game. So going into the next game we've got loads of unexplored Angaran lore. One of the most compelling reasons for the Angara's return is the rich lore that surrounds them as a species. The previous game hinted at a complex history and societal dynamics leaving many questions unanswered. A return to the Andromeda Galaxy and the Angara could allow Bioware to delve deeper into their culture, politics, relationships, providing players with more immersive experience. Maybe even Bioware could bring back planets that we saw in Mass Effect Andromeda. Speaking of which, we could also see the Remnant Anjardan once again. Now this is a subtopic that I'm probably going to go more in depth with in with its own video as it probably would require it in the future, but for those who don't know, the Angara are actually creations of the Jardan, an advanced alien race native to the Helios Cluster that were also responsible for creating the Remnant machines throughout Andromeda, you know, the ones that we actually see in game. The Jardan designed the first Angaran centuries ago and seeded them on several planets within the Helios Cluster in Mass Effect Andromeda. The reasoning behind their creation of the Angara is currently unknown, and this is definitely something that could be explored upon in more detail in a future game by Bioware. There's also potential for cross-galactic collaboration. With the Mass Effect universe being vast, the Angara's return could open the door to cross-species and galactic collaboration. Imagine the Milky Way and Andromeda species working together to face a common threat, or pursue shared goals. This alliance could bring a fresh dynamic to the narrative, building on the relationships established in Mass Effect Andromeda as well as the Milky Way trilogy. Now we've had loads of hints to Andromeda coming back in the next game in some way, shape or form, even if it's just referenced. So again we'll have to wait and see what Bioware does, but personally I'm hoping for both galaxies to make an appearance, whether it's a split timeline or you can travel to both Andromeda and the Milky Way with free will. I, I don't know how they'd go about that in game because uh, essentially Andromeda it took the initiative over 600 years to actually get there in cryosleep and you know via FTL travel so I've got no idea how they'd actually accomplish a dual galaxy map in game but that's what I want. Speaking of which, we could have ties to existing characters. Some fans have speculated about potential ties between the Angara and existing characters and species from the original Mass Effect trilogy in the Milky Way. Could there be connections to established races or individuals? Maybe they've got a, you know, a connection to the Reapers and Collectors as well as the Star Child. We have no idea. The next game could explore these links, creating a bridge between the events of two galaxies and offering a sense of continuity for both the original trilogy Trilogy and for people who've played the Legendary Edition and then people who've played Mass Effect Andromeda. Next up we've got unique gameplay and abilities. The Angara possess unique abilities such as their connection to the Remnant technology, history with the Jardan and their biotic capabilities. Bringing them back could introduce innovative gameplay mechanics and squad dynamics adding a fresh layer to combat and exploration. This diversity in skill set could also enhance the overall gaming experience with the next Mass Effect game. Mass Effect's biggest strength is obviously its storytelling and its characters. So it might opinion if we get an Angara squad mate or just someone who's part of our crew in general in the next game that would be great because not only is it diverse it's potentially also reintroducing the Angarans because a lot of people have actually not played Mass Effect Andromeda and this may be their first time seeing them as a species. 
Again though, reintroducing the Remnant, the Jardan and the Angara and explaining the backstory of how they caused the Scourge, how they were created and Meridian would be interesting if Bioware get to tell more stories from Andromeda. Andromeda's time was sadly cut short and without the storytelling being delved into further with a trilogy like the Mass Effect of old, a lot of plot points and elements got left behind because of this, so this could be Bioware's chance to reintroduce things like the Angara, the Jardan, the Remnant, whilst also mixing in a few things from the Milky Way. That would be really interesting in my opinion. And again, we have had loads of evidence to support Angarans actually returning. We've potentially seen quite a few in different concept arts and basically Bioware teasing it on Twitter as well. So again, we will have to see if they do return, but I think there's a really strong case for them actually returning. And as we eagerly await news about the next Mass Effect instalment, the return of the Angara holds great promise in my opinion. Bioware now has a chance to build upon the foundation laid upon in Mass Effect Andromeda, weaving a captivating narrative that explores the untapped potential of its interesting species. So guys, that was it. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's speculate on what the future holds for the Mass Effect universe. Don't forget to subscribe for more Mass Effect and Bioware content on the channel, and until next time, Lockhart out, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.